Timeless Travelers, welcome back to my page. Um, thanks for joining me. I had a lot of people who have been asking me about traveling, doing a cruise. Um, a lot of my friends have nicknamed me the mermaid because uh, we go on a lot of cruises. So one of the things that I get asked about a lot is like how do we pack for a cruise. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos um, where people are actually showing people how to pack and how they can pack a lot of clothes into a carry-on and whatnot. Um, and those videos are great. The only thing is, those videos are usually made by people who are live near a port. They're in Florida or Texas or Georgia, where they can actually drive to a port. So all they have to do is stuff all their clothes in a carry-on, and then they throw all their toiletries and whatnot into a backpack, grab a purse, and then they're out the door. We live in the Midwest. We're in Kansas City, Missouri, so we don't have the option to just drive to a port. Uh, most of the time, we're actually flying in the day before, getting a hotel, and then getting up the next day, shuttling off to the port. So I actually wanted to do a video for people who are more in the Midwest or up north area where they can't just get to a port regularly um, by driving, I guess I should say. So um, I'm actually going to do my video based on people who live farther away who actually have to fly. So I'm actually doing my uh, information based on flying as well as the cruise itself. So the most important thing for me is um, I actually usually have about three pieces of luggage when I, when I travel. I have my personal item, I have my carry-on, and I have my... Um, check bag. So we're going to start with the personal item. The personal item um, is going to be my backpack. Um, as you can see, it has a lot of pockets, a lot of compartments. Um, so the things that are important that I take on that. Um, so we're going to start with the fact that I take my laptop um, because I'm usually working. I'm a travel agent, so I have to take that. So this backpack actually has a compartment specifically for my laptop. So I can throw that in there. Um, I can also put in my the uh, cord for it. I'll just throw that in there. Uh, normally I actually make this a little bit more neat and but I'm not going to do that right now so I'm just going to throw it in there so you'll get the point. Um, I usually have my tablet with me because uh, I like to play games when I'm in the airport or watch my Netflix when I'm on the plane. Um, and then I have my cord for that so I always make sure everything is charged up. If not I charge it up at the airport. Um, I do have my cell phone, which is incredibly important that I have that. Um, and I also have a flat charger that I keep with me uh, when I go on a cruise. And the reason why I have a flat charger, basically all you do is plug it in and then you set your cell phone on top of it and it plug and it'll charge it up. The reason why I have that, true story, I went snorkeling in Belize um, with the sharks and the stingrays. And I couldn't get my phone to work underwater. I kept touching the screen and it wouldn't take pictures. It wouldn't take video. Um, so I took it out of the waterproof case. Um, my phone is waterproof. Um, and I kept trying to figure out like why wouldn't it work or whatever. And I finally just gave up and just took pictures above water or like right above whatever I was trying to take a picture of. I got back on the ship. Uh, talked to someone that I had met in one of the Facebook groups that I had joined before the ship um, for that sailing time. And I told him what happened. And he said, oh, well, I have a flat charger at home, but I don't have it with me why don't you put it in the group and see if anybody has one that they can let you borrow so I did I posted it in there and this wonderful lady who restored my faith in humanity said hey I have one come to my cabin number so-and-so get it and just bring it back when you're done so I charged my phone up got it to 100% and then I went down to the main dining room and asked the chef for a plate of rice um, the looks I got but anyway they gave me a plate of rice, I poured it into a Ziploc bag, put my phone in there, and let it sit overnight, and then the USB port was actually dry the next day, I could charge it regularly. Uh, but after that, my husband was like, yeah, we're never doing that again, so he bought me a flat uh, charger. So the other thing that I need um, with me when I'm traveling, I, I wear glasses, well, I wear contacts. I wear my glasses to bed, I don't wear glasses out in public very often unless something's going on. Um, so these are extra contacts, my glasses and my uh, my solution so I'm gonna press some of the air out of that so I'm gonna throw this in one of these compartments kind of closer to the front so in case I need to put my hands on that um, what I carry that's important as well is my wallet um, I don't carry a purse when I'm traveling on the airplane. I carry a purse usually when I'm, I actually don't really carry a purse hardly at all, even when I'm on the cruise, because um, I don't need it because it's a cashless system. I usually carry like a little over the, over the shoulder thing, and I'll show you that in another video <clears throat> at another time. Um, but while I'm actually traveling on the plane, I carry my wallet in here. Um, so I throw that in this front pocket so I know exactly where it is so I can put my hands on it. Um, the other thing that I carry is this little document holder. Um, 
what this is open it up and show you so here's my passport I always travel with my passport um, for even for domestic flights um, this goes inside of here and as you can see this just fits right down in here like this um, in there but it's just gonna be me and my husband on the next cruise but normally when we take our kids you take it out and as you can see everybody's passport sits right inside those little pockets um, but since it's just us I've got my big passport holder and I'm gonna throw that down in there so this is on this side this is our confirmation number for our excursion that we're gonna do while we're in Cozumel and then on this side is my actual cruise documents um, as you can see we're going on Norwegian on the epic I'm excited about that and we got a lot of paperwork um, but I also wanted to show you real quick um, this is actually a um, luggage tag so I've got an extra one but I'm going to show you that um, I've already got that ready to go but here's a little cruise document where I keep all my paperwork in I actually keep all the paperwork for the hotel I keep the paperwork for the shuttle I put everything in this cruise document so I can put my hands on it even though we live in an age of technology where you can get all kinds of things on your cell phone or whatnot if your dad is not working if your cell phone's dead or whatever it's always just good to have paper documents of whatever you've paid for um this is my little headache medicine because i always get headaches when i fly i don't know why um like i said we're actually going to be flying in so i need my, my my snacks gotta have my snacks when i'm on the plane while i'm watching my netflix um, I have my headphones, so I take those so I can make sure I can listen to my Netflix. I have my journal. This is my travel journal. I like to write and uh, write down everything that I've done so I can remember it when I'm old and gray. Uh, or, well, I'm gray now, but shut up. Anyway, um, this is my little notebook. I keep this notebook because usually, like I said, I'm working. So sometimes people will call me in the airport or they call me while I'm doing something and I don't have time to look into it right then and there, but I write down whatever the situation is. Um, but I also, if I ever have issues, like I'm at the airport or at the hotel or whatever, I like to write it down so I can write down who I talk to so I can give them kudos if they took care of me great um, or so I can talk to somebody else if they didn't take care of me so great. Um, guys, you want, might want to turn your video off for a couple of seconds. I'm going to give you about 20 seconds and then you can come back okay so ladies um this is just a little makeup bag actually it was a medic medicine bag that i got from my doctor's office but it's a little makeup bag for me um, but it's not makeup in here this is for you know um so and you don't want to carry all that stuff with you but if you need it just for a couple of you know hours you have a little something that you know everybody doesn't know all your business um this is a little bag I got from the one church when I went to see my sister in Dallas. Um, but what I use it for um, is to, I keep everything organized. This has our cruise ship card lanyards in it. Um, so as you can see, a little lanyard. I actually still have a card in there from our previous cruise and I'll take it out and put it in the folder later. Um, but everything on your ship is done by ship card. So this keeps it hands-free keeps it around my neck I don't lose it it's waterproof I don't have to worry about anything so even if I want to stick a couple of dollars down in here for tips while I'm walking around the ship um, going to the bar I don't drink but I do like to buy little fruity mocktails and you know you want to tip the bartender a couple of dollars or whatever um, it keeps me hands-free I don't have to carry a purse so I keep my uh -oh. I keep our lanyards in here so I'm gonna throw that back in there and then I have our actual um, luggage tags. So these little things, I bought these on Amazon uh, for a couple of bucks. They have the little metal thing that goes around your handle. And so what these are normally, they tell you to just staple them to it. But if it's raining or anything outside, then your paper is going to get wet. It's going to get all nasty. It can come off and then your luggage is nowhere to be found. These keep things a little bit more secure. And that way it has my, num my room number and everything on it. And we're good to go. So I have all of that. Like I said, I like to keep things organized, but I like to keep it where I can put my hands on it. So when I get up in the morning after we've got um, spent the night at the hotel, everything is in my backpack. So I still have my passport right there. I still have all my cruise documents right there. And then I have all, everything where I can just throw it on there and go. And of course my phone. Um, so I throw that over here in this little side pocket so I know where it is um, while I'm in the airport. And then last but not least, once you get on the plane, um, everybody doesn't want to rush to the bathroom and wash their hands. So I like to have some wet wipes so I can clean my hands off so I can eat my snacks. 
Um, and also I have my little Clorox wipes because I like to clean off the tray table when I get on. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the tray table is actually the dirtiest part of the plane. Um, so I like to wipe that off before I put my tablet or my laptop and my snacks on top of that. So um, next we'll talk about the carry-on. So hang in there. Okay, so we're back and now we're going to talk about the actual carry-on bag um, and how important that is for your cruise as well as for packing um, for your hotel, your overnight hotel stay as well as um, getting up in the morning and getting everything together. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have packed whatever it is that you're going to wear the next day on the cruise. Um, so for me, what I did was go ahead and pack um, a, a cover-up as well as a sundress that I'm going to wear. Um, so I put these in a Ziploc bag so I can just grab them right out of here. Um, and with the sundress, I have a pair of shoes um, that are flat and comfortable. I'm going to put those inside of a, just a regular grocery bag. That way they don't get my clothes dirty. Um, and as you can see, they just fit right down inside of the suitcase. I also carry a sweater because it does get cool on the ship, um, so you want to make sure you're not getting cool at night as well as at dinner. Sometimes the main dining rooms are kind of cool. So I carry a sweater and of course everything matches. Um, that's the best part about packing if you want to make sure that you don't overpack, um, is if you find a, kind of a color scheme. Like um, as you can see a lot of that stuff was like red, pinks, and purples so that everything kind of matches and inter intermingles and interflows. Um, I have my water shoes. Um, I actually didn't bring the bag for these, but I actually put these inside of a Ziploc bag because they're going to be wet after you went snorkeling or walking on the beach or whatever. They're going to be wet, so I actually put these inside of a Ziploc bag when I'm done, but I just wanted to show them to you um, that I do carry my water shoes with me. Um, this is important. This is a waterproof phone case. Um, if you don't want to get your phone wet while you're on, on your vacation, while you're in the hot tub, the pool, or in the ocean, the best way to test this out to see if it actually works is to go ahead and put a paper towel down inside of that and then submerge it in the sink or a tub or whatever um, and then after about 20 minutes when you open it up if the paper towel is dry then that means it works so I'm going to stick this up here in this in this little pocket so I can see it so I can grab that easily um, I also take my beach bag with me in my uh, carry-on and the reason why I take my beach bag in my carry-on um, is because once I actually get on the ship um, even though I have my my ship card lanyard, I don't have it around my neck, but right now, but I have my ship card lanyard. I sometimes I like to just take a towel or you know some sunscreen or whatever if I'm going to be laying out on the beach or laying out on the excuse me, sorry, on the Lido deck. Um, just I want to make sure I have my things with me. So I also have an extra swimsuit and cover up. There's actually two swimsuits in there and cover up because I can't make up my mind. Um, so I'm just going to throw those in there. These always go in my carry-on because they're extremely important. Um, I have my own snorkeling equipment. Um, so it's a full face snorkeler because I don't like the kind that sticks in your mouth. Um, so I actually have the full face snorkeler that helps with the field of vision. So I actually carry these because I love to go snorkeling. And that goes inside my carry-on as well. Flip that over. So that goes in my carry-on. Then I have pretty much all of my underwear for the cruise are going to go in here. So I sit them in a bag, I press all the air out, I'm actually I'm going to sit on this later, but I press all the air out of it and put them all in my carry-on right here in my bag. This is all my GoPro equipment, of course I'm not going to put that in my check bag because I need to make sure that it's with me at all times. Um, my head straps and all that stuff, so I'm going to throw that right down in here in my bag. I carry my little pharmacy with me on the ship um, in my carry-on because I want to make sure that I have it. The worst thing that you will do is have to actually purchase this on the ship. Um, this is about, at best, about $20 worth of medication in here. So I've got Dramamine for motion sickness, bandages, um, tummy medicine, Imodium, Lysol to spray um, and the surfaces, um, Dayquil in case anybody gets sick. If you had to buy all of this on the ship, this is about $100 worth of medication. So I always take this with me just in case. This is a hack um, that I like to do when we go on the cruises. We actually have an over-the-door shoe hanger. If you can see, this has a lot of see-through pockets. And this is what we use to, we hang it over the bathroom door. Sorry, I'm dropping pieces. Um, this is actually the hooks that go over the door. They were in one of the pockets. 
We actually hang that over a closet door or over the bathroom door, depending on what cruise line you're on and what type of um, bathroom you have. And we put all of the medications, all of the toiletries, everything in there so that we're good to go. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the toiletries really quick. Bug spray. Of course, toothpaste, our uh, floss I just don't have with me. This is Downy Wrinkle Releaser. Um, we take this with us just so we can spray like our dress clothes. You spray this on there, stretch them out a little bit, hang them up, and the wrinkles fall right out. Everything else, personally, um, I could care less about it being wrinkled. I, if it comes out of the suitcase looking like a packing house chitlin, I don't care. Um, but I do like my dress clothes to actually be wrinkle-free. This is some Gain um, spray. I like to make the room smell nice. Of course, deodorants, things like that. One of the things, another hack that we like to do is buy these little travel size liquid Tide. Um, depending on what ship you're on, you may or may not be able to do laundry while you're on the ship. Um, so what we do is we actually, if you have any type of incident, accidents, you know, some get soiled some kind of way, um, you can actually wash your clothes out in the sink with one of these. Um, or you can just, you know, put it on there as a stain remover and try to get the stain out. So we like to carry that. I actually do laundry on the ship on ships that have self-service laundry. But if it doesn't, then I don't. But I like to use this. Um, wet wipes for the bathroom. Gotta have that. Speaking of bathroom, this is poopery. I swear by it. I absolutely swear by it. We have to have it. I don't know if you've ever been on a ship. Those bathrooms are very, very tiny. Um... And then, you know, you've been eating at the buffet, you've been eating at the main dining room. It gets loud in the bathroom. You spray a couple of sprays of this in the toilet before you go and you will save your life. So all of this goes inside up here. Um, you flatten everything out and it will fit right down here in your pocket in your carry-on. This is a little grab-and-go bag. Um, it has stickers on it where you can actually make these bottles be whatever you need to be. So your full-size bottles that you have in your checked luggage, you can actually pour a little bit of it in each individual bottle. That way you don't have to go into one suitcase over and over. You, you know, you can only go, you only have to go in one suitcase. You don't have to keep going over and over. So we'll make this into body wash, lotion, um, sunscreen, probably not because we have travel size and sunscreen. And then um, probably shampoo or something, we don't know. But you can throw this in here, it comes in its own cute little bag so it doesn't get messy. You can throw that right inside of here as well. So you can throw that right in the pocket. Um, hair ties, things like that. So I'm going to show you another quick hack. I actually have extremely sensitive skin so I use Aveeno products for my face. So as you can see, these are bigger than three ounces. So I can't take this in my carry-on, but I need them, so I have to have them. So what I do is I actually buy these little jars. They're like a dollar at Walmart. And I actually um, so take the little top off of it, squeeze a couple of little bits inside of it, and then I can carry this inside of my carry-on so I have enough to use for in the morning, well, at night when I take my shower and in the morning when I get up and then I can put the big bottles in the in the um, check bag. Last but not least, ladies, I'm going to show you a little hack with your jewelry. As you can see, everything is already in this Ziploc bag, so I'm going to take it out and show you um, exactly what I did with it. This isn't um, all of the jewelry but I'm taking, I just want to show you the hacks for these specific items. So you have those necklaces that have the thin straps, um, the thin chains on it, and those are always getting tangled up and then you spend your whole cruise trying to untangle it. Well, what I do is I take a straw um, from a fast food restaurant that shall not be named, run that through there, and then you can clip that together and now it will not get tangled up. You can just put that right back in there. The other thing that I have are statement pieces of jewelry that I like to wear, especially on like formal nights. Um, so I have my earrings. The earrings I actually hook through the back of the washcloth. I actually put the, the backs on it, but I'm not going to do that just for time's sake. Um, so I hang those right on there. And then I take the actual statement necklace and I roll it inside the washcloth. 
This keeps them from getting broken um, or tangled or anything or lost where you're looking for that specific piece. What I'm going to actually do before I leave is I'm actually going to have about three or four washcloths with jewelry inside this bag. And the washcloths will be color coded because um, you can buy washcloths for you know a dollar at the dollar store. Um, their washcloths are going to be color coded so I know which piece it is. And I can actually throw that in there. Um, and as you can see, my carry-on is full, but that's just because I didn't pack it correctly. But I wanted to show you, my carry-on is full, but it's not so full that it can't close. And then all my other clothes are going to be in my check bag. So um, if you guys have any hacks, any tips about packing that um, for a cruise that you want to share with me, please hit the comments and let us know. Um, so like, share, subscribe, and definitely follow us on social media. It's Trisha's Timeless Travels on Facebook as well as Instagram. Um, thanks, and you guys have a wonderful day. Day.